Hey, what's going on YouTube? So I did a video a couple days ago. Um, I was cleaning uh, these tanks out. And so uh, so I got all the 20 longs done. I still got the 40 gallons to do, but uh, but not too, too much left. But my next step was, because um, I want to get all the 20 longs up and running, uh, get gravel in them and start, um, you know, start the cycling process more or less, especially with the ADA, it takes a little while. So I want to show you how I'm going to do the filtration. So you see, um, these are just your standard um they call them hmf filters and uh these go in the back of the tank and then there's a lift tube uh right where this hole goes and so what i did is i, I bought these uh these were actually there was no hole drilled in them there was nothing and they were just in the back of my tank water was passing through them before they overflowed out and that was my filtration system since i'm no longer doing that i have to convert these into a sponge filter more or less and so i want to show you that process um, so first of all, I order these from a wholesaler. They just come in uh, bulk foam uh, the Same place anywhere else gets their foam for their sponge filters And so luckily I got a direct connection with them and so I call in I get these custom made uh, to the size that I want them and then uh, Next thing is getting a hole in there. So I'm using three quarter inch pipe. So I did drill a three quarter inch uh, hole. So this is what I did. This is um Again, my buddy Mark came out with this stuff. So I can't take all the credit, but I will use it uh, so this is just a three-quarter inch um, metal conduit for running electrical wire and then what he did is he soldered on a, uh, a socket and then the socket fitting goes right into uh, your drill sorry I got a bunch of crap in my way but it goes right into your drill right on here and so let me try to do this with one hand this just connects right on the top like that and then you drill it in and then what we did is we grind this out so it's nice it's not really sharp but it's um you know it's got a nice little thin edge to it and so from here we put it we set these down I actually drill four at a time uh, it makes it a little bit easier but it's hard doing this with one hand I'm not gonna lie so we put it down I put the drill up I hold it on there and this puppy just drills right through like like butter I mean it's it's super simple and uh, so we got that. So I drilled the holes and that's how I got the holes. And so the next thing is the lift tubes. Um, so we're using three quarter inch thin wall. Um, it's just standard PVC. Uh, you definitely need an air stone. I like using air stones. And so what we did is we have a, um, a self, it's, it's a self tapper and it makes the hole bigger the farther you put it in. I forget the actual name of the bit, but you drill these holes to the perfect size. You can even get a, a, um, a drill bit that's the perfect size for these. Um, we slip the airline tubing down through there and it connects to the, uh, the little diffuser. And so then from there, we put a, uh, here, let me get this all done up, I'm sorry. So then you put a, uh, a 90 on it, no big deal. You know, you just go to the Lowe's or Home Depot or Menards and get a uh, three quarter inch 90s and then I got these guys. What I did is I cut these guys um, so there's a 45 degree angle. Nice little 45 degree angle. Um, I just did it for cosmetics. I don't know if it plays any effect. I don't think it does. And then the final product is going to look like this. Okay. And then you just pass it right through the foam. And then this is what the, the final product looks like. I got a couple of them up and running for you. So as you can see, there's there's actually really good water flow. And this isn't even with the air all the way up. This one's down a little bit. Um, this one's really down. And it's just a nice constant flow. Let me get it from this angle. You guys can really see how fast it's coming out. But uh, so far, I got four of them working. And uh, they look great. Let me show you them from behind so you guys really understand. Sorry. It's tough getting back here. It's a tight squeeze. So... This is what they look like from behind. Again, they're just pushed through. This goes down. You want to get it close to the bottom. Give it like an inch or two. And that way that it's sucking water from the bottom up so that it's getting the full circulation of the tank. Because it's shooting out up high. It's shooting the water out up high. So then if you pull water from the bottom, it's constantly going back and forth, back and forth. And you're getting a good air exchange as well. And then um, and I just got them going up into um, my, uh, my air system, my air line. And uh, I actually, I started labeling the tanks because before it was a pain in the butt. So I got all the tanks labeled so I know which airflow I'm adjusting. And then, uh, 
and that's pretty much it um all in all this whole project and if you guys want a more detailed video let me know i just want to give you guys a brief rundown and uh if there's interest i could do a, a detailed video about how we do this and edit it and make it look pretty and all that kind of fun stuff but uh, i just want to show you guys what i'm doing um so far i'm in love with this filtration i really think it's going to be good i mean the amount of water that this moves you could just see the the little air bubbles getting shot over here so it really it moves some water and uh i'm excited and uh, it's going to be really good and then i did this um uh just tupperware containers that's for a whole nother story but the reason i did that just because we're looking at it is uh, more or less just so I could do different plants and then keep them separated and move them around so they don't block each other out from light. Uh, it just makes, it just simplifies things. These, uh, these are number five plastics so they shouldn't leach anything at all. I'm um, hoping not. Uh, I've been running some of them in my other tanks and haven't had a problem so that's good. And so I'm actually gonna get shrimp in this tank tonight and then, uh, and then hopefully it'll be good from there. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I'll continue to make videos on this project and uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. So you guys have a have a good week, and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Later, guys.